Once upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called Banjo, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda, who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This is life, pizza, sunshine, and not a care in the world. This is DJ Jab Jars, Spiral Mountain FM. Breaking news, punks. Did you know it's been 10 years since you two were invented? Maybe put on a few pounds. So it's not like we've got to fight that old hag anymore. Eight long years to bounce back here. I'll win this time and make you cheer. Nope, can't see who's making that racket. Let's take a look. Okay, I think I'll still carry you. Just about anything for a quiet life. Ah, how long has it been? Well, many years. Uh, so yeah, like I said, hello and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This is your host, as always, on this channel, Wee Onio. So proud to be bringing you this game. If we still had my turbo trainers, this would be over by now. Yeah, dialogue moves a lot faster in this game, so I'm probably not going to be able to read everything. What the? Grunty, is that you? Yes, it's me, you podgy fool. I'm back again and ready to rule. I doubt it. Haven't you noticed you're just a skull? At least I haven't got a gut. Let's rumble now. I'll bite your butt. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Greetings, those second-rate game characters. Who are you? My title's Lord of Games, but you husbands can call me Log. I'm the grand creator of all video games. Even ones that don't sell very well, like Ghoulies. Yow. Your name is Odd and you look a bit queer, so tell old Grunty, what brings Log here? I come to settle your differences, cliched crone. You'll play a challenge of my choice. To the winner goes Spiral Mountain. To the loser, Eternity of Toil, my video game factory. This sounds like a preposterous ruse. What will you do if I refuse? Or we refuse? Damn it! Oh dear. <laughs> Viva Pinata references. I wish they could stay like this, but I suppose you people would actually like to take part in this game. Indeed we would. Now then, in line with Banjo tradition, your challenge would consist of collecting as many pointless objects as possible. Let the collect-a-thon commence! Oh boy. Ugh. Don't worry guys, I got this. No, 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 it's too painful to watch. Gamers today don't want all this. They just want to shoot. Very well done, failures. Listen carefully. Failures? We've been in several games already. But nowhere near as many as that Italian gentleman, correct? 
He does have a point. I will now transport you to a brand new video game world. Considering more impressive than anything you've seen before. My body's gone, but not my eyes. All I see is a pack of lies. Mr. Log, I don't think any of us are in really good enough shape for another adventure. Yeah! Any other requests? Hey LCD Brain, where are my moves from the previous games? You won't be needing those. They're rather outdated anyway. Bird was bad in our last game, now it seems she's extra lame. Please, follow me in those vehicles before I change my mind. Come on, Banjo, grab us the cool looking one. Too slow, losers. Watch me go. I'll win this time. I just know. This one looks a bit safer. No, it looks like a shopping trolley. We'll look really stupid. Faster, Banjo. Faster! Put your foot down. Oh boy. Visit Bumble's Motors and show downtown to build and fine tune your very own vehicles. Go uh -huh. Totally. Ow. My god, we've landed in a pig land. Ow. Hula skirt wearing pigs. That looked rather painful. Let's begin, shall we? This charming locale is known as Showdown Town. Reached up there, or perched up there, is my splendid video game factory. While exploring the town, look for these doors, which lead you into game worlds of my own creation. There you'll find jigsaw pieces. Jiggies? Is that the best you could come up with? We've run around chasing jiggies at least twice before. Silence, Briegel. Deposit the jiggy pieces in the jiggy bank, and more doors will be open to you. Win and bank enough jiggies to open the final door, return to Spiral Mountain, and potentially win the game. Well, I think your town looks very nice, Mr. Log. If you say so, Banjo. Hey, how about telling us what happened to Warp Brain? While you slept, I've become a mechanic, building my grunt box to make you panic. Grunty's role in my wonderful game is quite simple. She must try to prevent you two from getting back to Spiral Mountain. But how do we play your daft game when you've stolen my abilities? By using this impatient bird of dubious popularity. A rusty metal stick? You've got to be joking, Tubehead. Actually, we'll find that rusty stick to be quite a magical wrench with near unlimited creative power. So Bird Brain gets a nice new wrench. What do you have for this lovely wench? A cat. Oh my, Piddles isn't going to like that. So cartoony. Now then, hold down the right trigger to pick up objects and release it to drop them. Pick up this. Mumbo crate and take it to the skull-faced gentleman over there. I wonder who we're possibly taking it to. We put on the mumbo pad. Drop Mumbo Crate in special pink zone on ground, then come talk to Clever Shaman. Mumbo open crate for bear. Crate contain parts to build vehicles in order to play a game. This crate has simple parts, so Dim Bird not get confused. Bear use left stick to look through parts and Mumbo Crate, then bored of looking, press B button to continue. Not fancy, but it'll do a job well enough. Mumbo the inflatable banjo look like a real thing. <laughs> So, Mumbo gives descriptions for all this stuff. Basically, that's your standard way of getting new parts for building new vehicles in this game, is you have to bring back these Mumbo crates to Mumbo's motors, and it unlocks a whole bunch of new stuff for you to actually get. And, as you can see, we got basic building materials. 
Bear finds a lot more mumble crates around town. All crates contain different parts. Bring crates back for Mumba to open and store new parts in garage. That's how Bear get more parts to build vehicles. Thanks for saying what I just did. Now come with Mumbo in the garage. We try to make something useful from simple parts, Bear Fine. So now we're going to have a building vehicle tutorial. Don't you just love tutorial levels? My god. I haven't even talked about the game yet. Welcome, Bear and Bird. Maxif magnificent Mumbo's Motors here to let heroes build great vehicles and beat ugly grown crone Gruntilda. Has the classic music read on. Lord of Games say Bear need to rebuild smashed up vehicle. Master Mechanic Mumbo explain how. Bear first choose workshop arc to access vehicle store. Easy start, sure leave and bear command, just press A button select. So now we hit storage, we put the tray down. It's gonna say move it over. This is your basic uh building a vehicle tutorial. My god, I've forgotten how these controls work, but... <laughs> I'll explain a lot more of this stuff as we move throughout the game. And now it needs an engine on it. Everything needs an engine. And everything needs... With engines comes the need for a fuel tank. Control get saved the vehicle database, so Bear can use it when needed. Bear can make vehicles in garage at any time, but now it's time to start playing game with nice prepared trolley. Yada yada yada. I could skip this tutorial, but I'd rather just go through it, so I have less to explain later. But like it matters. <laughs> Ekum Bokum. Trolley vehicle upside down. Not panic. Bear stand next to things and pull left trigger to flip over. So whenever one of your vehicles gets, well, debilitated like this, whoa, you press left trigger and it sets it down on its wheels. Uh, basically what he's explaining is that you can't take any other vehicle besides the trolley around Showdown Town. This is the only thing you can drive around Showdown Town, which is basically your overworld. And now they're basically saying, drive around. So you got left trigger to go forward, or left trigger to go backwards, and right trigger to go forward. As you can see, there are notes in this game. Collecting musical notes may seem a trifle old, may seem a trif, trifle old fashioned, but they're the only form of currency in Showdown Town. And these are your warp pads in this game, much like the warps in Banjo Tooie. It's quite enough messing around. Drive your trolley around to the bottom of my hill and climb the Oh well he basically says, um take note of your map in the lower right corner as it displays things of interest at the moment. That means me, so use it to find your way up here. Around the map is your speedometer, yada yada yada. It's basically you're going to find these mumbo crates mostly, actually I think all of them are around Showdown Town. Uh, and yeah, just as you can get to them, be sure to bring them back and just talk to mumbo. Just skip all of his stupid ass dialogue and you get more parts. So now we can actually have, we actually have eight wheels in total and two small fields. I'm not going to be counting, don't ask me to. That would be fucking ridiculous. Anyways, the simplest way to get to the Logs Factory would be this, right? Well, too bad. Your vehicle can't make it up there. So we're actually going to have to take the long way around. Get out of my way! Oh my god. Like, I run her over and she's like, fuck it, I'll just stay in here. Got relatives in the police force, my ass. There is a police system and stuff like that in this game, so you can't run around causing havoc all the time. I know. That's a little bit baloney, but... <laughs> what are you going to do? They tried to make it as open world as possible, but just think of this as your hub world. Your uh, Grunty's Lair or your Alo Hags. And basically what we're doing right now is we're going to go unlock the first world. This kind of sucks because this entire first episode of this LP is straight tutorial and no actual, well, action. Which sucks. Damn it. So you still have note values, gold ones give you the most, silver ones give you medium, and bronze ones give you just one. 
But uh, Log's telling us to talk to him, so let's go over to his ass and talk to it. Very well, now listen, these are game globes. They become available when you bank enough jiggies, but as you don't have any jiggies yet, I'll grant you the first one for free. Placing a game globe on its plinth, plinth <laughs> will unlock one of the fabulous game worlds of my creation. Be careful not to lose the game globe, otherwise you'll have to come back up here and get another by using this wrench at bolt. Now put the game globe in your vehicle, take it to its plinth, then I'll tell you how to win your first jiggy. So... This is basically you're doing puzzles and classic games. You have to go up here every once in a while, pick up a game globe that has something of importance to the world inside of it. And you basically have to go find the part of town where it fits. And this one obviously fits down here in the center of town. And it unlocks all the doors to the world. Well, not all of them, but... It shows you the required jiggies to get into all the quote-unquote episodes of the world. It makes more sense once you actually start doing it. Wonderful. The first game world is now activated. Each game world has several acts where jiggies can be won, and each door leads to a different act. You'll notice that in each door requires a set number of jiggies to open. I like to think of it as classic banjo home inch. The jiggy total required is shown above the door, so you'll need that number of jiggies in the jiggy bank to open it. As you can see, the act door, the act one door of this game world is now open, so take a look inside as this is where your first jiggy is located. So every once in a while you'll come across like boss acts and stuff like that. Like you'll come across one and literally you'll just have one challenge in the world and it'll be to like take down Grunty and it'll be quote unquote considered a boss fight. It's a, uh, it's weird, but it's a very different, but it works. Ah, oh, bear bring another crate. Yeah. Fulgore's Fist. Quite useless, in my opinion. I actually never, ever put that on anything. But, if you go around town, you'll eventually find, like, Bottles is around here. He's actually right over there, as you can see him. Bottles is here. Uh, fucking King Jingling. Or... <laughs> yeah, King Jingling is here. Um, Wumba's here. She's right over there in that corner. Uh, fucking... Who else is here? Klungo's here. Oh, bear bring another crate. What do we got in this? An egg gun. So we actually now have a weapon that we can stick on vehicles. But all this is just bonus stuff I'm doing. Let's actually get into the first world and do something. Let's see some action. So, as you can see, Nutty Acres Act 1, there's one possible G, one possible trophy, two possible Jinjo medals, and 200 notes in total in there. And as for 100%ing this game, it's actually quite difficult because I've never actually collected every note. And even then, I'll explain later what notes are used as, like he basically explained. They're used as currency, but it's a lot more less in-depth than that.